Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. So I just saw a comment that really resonated with me because it, it really just sums up everything that I do at codingphase.com. Alright. What I do here on YouTube, this is more of a way to help people out, help people get motivated, you know, and tell them how code and learning to program really just changed my life and i show it by example you know from my taking trips to working from home to having my own business creating my own passive income being able to get job offers constantly you know those are the things that i show here all right but what i do at codingphase.com is really just prepare you for real life experience okay this is something that's hard to do because a lot of times when you take Udemy courses, Team Treehouse or Pluralsight or whatever it's out there or even YouTube videos, you got to understand most instructors are going to give you the bare minimum, just the basics. To be honest, nobody wants to spend no more than two, three days on creating a tutorial for you, right? I'm probably the only person that goes in and creates like full applications for you or create scenarios that you're going to be doing at your job constantly okay so this is a, a comment that somebody just left here Ian Bayless so this is his comment okay uh, I haven't really talked to him this is him he's just one of the users from codingface.com but it just really sums up everything so this is what he says I realized that what makes your projects so different from others is the level of job you can get with them and the learning involved a lot of other projects from youtube and udemy can get you your first developer job but the projects you create are so intricate that putting them on a portfolio almost guarantees a mid-level developer salary the node.js course by itself is an example it's very real world compared to other courses out there heck the first react course took me a month to finish and was one of the reasons I got a job keep up the good work okay so this is a, a user this is somebody who is a member of codingphase.com and has actually taken advantage of all the tools that I, I give you guys and the resources and the courses that are there okay um, one thing that I want to point out to everybody you know it's whatever you put in okay it's whatever you put in it's easier to go and do a quick angular tutorial on YouTube it's quick and easy to just say hey I'm just gonna go and do a quick react uh, course on Udemy and that's it. I learned the basics cool now you understand the syntax now you understand how the framework works but do you have real projects do you have real life experience right when you go to job interviews they care about that they care about can you explain your project can you say why you did this why you didn't do this you know in a lot of my courses i even do this like live with you guys because the way how i record my courses is i do it with you i don't come in and have everything done in one page for example so i could be here and have all of my code finished here and then copy it here on this screen and then act like oh i'm writing this with you guys no i actually go in and basically record everything even when there's a mistake we go in and we say oh cool we had a mistake here we go and fix it or then later on like midway of the the course we might say you know what there's actually a better way to do this and then we refactor our code live right so those are the things that's going to make you a better developer you following a tutorial that has everything perfect and it's already completed and the instructor all he's doing is just copying it from here and pasting it here that's not gonna help you because you're not understanding the code you're not understanding the reason why this person did this you're not understanding why would he use uh, CSS grid instead of flexbox or why will you use uh, positioning or why will he use float right those are things that you need to understand for different situations like and that's just talking about CSS right now when we talk about javascript there's a whole bunch of different ways of doing things but i try to make sure that 
I show you guys why I chose a certain way and why I'm choosing another way whenever we do change it. It just helps you understand how web development really is. Copy and pasting is not really showing you anything. Okay. And that's what you're going to get in most courses that are out there. And not only that, that you take a React course and they're going to teach you, here's a to do app. Okay. Here's a to do app. Who cares? Anybody could do that. But what I did was I came in and said, hey, let's come in here and create a real estate websites uh, filter section. Okay. So from there on, we basically filter all the data, we get everything in da 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 etc we get it done but once you finish you know react and you have a real project that you can show like hey man this is what i did i understand react and at the same time i understand how to use javascript and, and json objects and you know being able to filter through it because that's what you really do with javascript most of the time filtering through data you know, you do a get request, you do a post request, you get some data back. Then from there, you filter through it, you display something different to the user according to whatever data they need to see, etc. Right? So that's what we do. In the Node.js course, we went in there and we started building a, a Facebook clone. We also did the Learn React with um, by building a, a Craigslist clone, where we simulate as if there was a backend, but there's not a backend. But we're doing everything that is simulating as if there was already a backend. So we're filtering through data to show the different listings of a Craigslist clone. Okay. So there's so much stuff that I go through, like even <laughs> even on, on the website, right? Like if you go and check out this uh, this course called Web Developer Portfolio and, and Branding, right? So if I'm gonna show you right now. If you check this out, you're gonna see projects, branding portfolio. Okay, we come in here, check this out. Currently, it looks like this, but if you go to, um, where is it? Crystalcast.io, I uploaded it to show it to people how it would look on a live website. Okay, this is a domain that I own. I'm still working on, on that website, crystalcast.io. I might release some video for Crystal Lang later on, but this is a real portfolio. Like this is something that you can come here, use this. If you wanted to, you could even change the colors, change uh, a couple of things, make it your own, of course, right? But this is a real portfolio. This is something that looks nice, pretty clean, has all your projects. Okay, you know what I mean. You have your experience here. You can put in the things that you have done. You have a blog section now. If you go into any of the courses that are out there, I mean, there's really not that many people that can go in and help you create a professional website like this, okay? And it's not gonna give you something with a nice design, something that's gonna make you stand out, something nice and clean, okay? Most of the courses that are out there, they give you bootstrap because it's just easier for the instructor, you know? What I try to do here is just give you real life experience, real projects, real things that you can show for something that you're going to be able to get a better job or even if it's just a junior developer job, like they're going to respect you more. OK, because they know you've been doing real life projects and it's not just like, oh, a little to do app. Hey, a little JavaScript clock or hey, I could go and filter you know, like three words. I can show you if there's an E inside of a paragraph. Like nobody cares about that. Like companies are not looking for that. They need somebody that can actually come in and hit the ground running. And that's what I do at codingphase.com. And, you know, shout out to, uh, what was his name? To Ian Bayless, you know, for the comment. I, I really appreciate it. Sometimes I'll be like, man, should I just start doing like, you know, little bullshit courses like how everybody does? Because in reality, it takes way less time. I could go in and just create a, a simple to do app and, and be like, hey, man, I'll teach you Angular and here's a to do app. And <laughs> I could do that, too. You know what I mean? But I just want to be able to prepare you guys for your job interviews for that first day at work where you're not feeling like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. I don't know what to do. 
And it's like, no, I've been actually doing real projects for the past two, three months with Joe on his website. So I'm prepared. I'm ready. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to do for you guys. And just like I said, you know, if you guys want to support the kit and you want to just give it a try, man, just give it a try. You don't have to commit to anything. Just give it a try. Go to codingface.com, guys. You go there. Click on the description. You could even click on the description. You don't have to do anything else. You come here, click on the description. You click on this. It gives you 50% off automatically. And as soon as you come in here, all of these courses, you'll get access to every single one of them. Okay, there's a lot of good projects. All right. I also set up a timeline for you guys. So you guys can come in here and go to codingphase.com timeline. All the skills that you need are in order meaning you click here front end developer right come here you got all installations all the things that you ever need just to install everything because i know sometimes people be like man i'm having problems with my windows how to install this i'm having problem in in mac how to install that everything that you need is here you gotta learn how to use the terminal you gotta learn how to use a text editor okay you got html css okay you got uh html css the course you got responsive CSS, advanced CSS, CSS preprocessors like SAS. Okay, then from there you jump into the projects. These are the projects that are going to reinforce whatever you've learned on this module. Meaning, I'm gonna create a music artist website. Okay, we did a website for Takashi 69. Then from there we build a dashboard. Okay, from there we have JavaScript. Okay. Learn JavaScript the basics. So future proof JavaScript, the course. Object oriented programming. Object oriented programming with JavaScript. jQuery. Task runners. Okay, you need a task runner because we are in 2018. Okay, you want to automate everything as much as you can. So from there you got learn ES6, ES7, ES8, HyperApp JS. HyperApp is a pretty cool framework that's just gonna be so much easier to learn than React. So it's a good how can i put it it's a good introduction to using a framework especially a modern framework like react but using hyper app so you can understand all the concepts between you know managing state uh understanding how uh you work with a a framework now in 2018 like it's just a, a very good explanation and just a quick introduction and it's completely free you could go to my website and learn this for free okay then you have react js okay react js quick and easy and then from there you have your projects build a static site portfolio build a restaurant application learn react by building a craigslist clone so you have all of that okay if you want to do some back end then you go and follow the back end timeline okay with back end you have to learn html css you can't skip this guys i know some people be like Hey, can I just go straight to PHP? And it's like, bro, how are you going to build a website if you don't know HTML and CSS? Like, you have to go through that process no matter what. So, you do this. You know, if you want to do JavaScript, you do the Node.js JavaScript full stack developer. Uh, you got to do some Ruby. Okay, if you want to learn some Ruby on Rails. All right. So, it's just you follow the timeline. You follow whatever is there. And then from there, you come in and you do the projects just to reinforce what you already learned all right guys so anyways man it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com i just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit because i really thought that this was a, a really great uh comment because it just summed up everything that i do on codingphase.com and i just wanted to show it to you guys because i keep on saying all of these things but <laughs> it's always good when somebody else that has been doing this and has been successful already got their jobs and actually comes in and, and and speaks for the people you know and also too guys whenever you come here you use codingphase.com always come back after you get a job you know i feel like sometimes people uh they come in they use the website they use the platform they use the youtube channel for motivation once they get their jobs they they leave and you know we never see them again come back because not only are you helping me right when you tell your stories and you share what have you learned on the website but you also help other people because some people 
they're lost right now. They don't know which way to go, where to learn, or what to do. You know, so if you share your story and you're able to, you know, just motivate somebody else and tell them, hey, man, I did it. You know, it just helps them. It, it shows them that it's possible to do. Okay, guys. So anyways, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com.